Hello and welcome to the 7th edition of Goa Arts and Literature Festival 2016. Today we have with us Ms. Odet Mascarinas. She is a COO of ONM Creative Consultants, a TV host, author and a food critic. I welcome you ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, could you tell us more about your latest novel, Shadows of the Temptress? Well, I would say it's all in the name. Uh, we've been in Goa for so long and there are many shadows which have sort of encompassed us. Uh, the story is what is called as a tri-dimensional novel based or inspired by true events. It focuses on Goa, the beautiful Goa that we know right back from 1912, a very difficult period to understand today because if you look all around us, you see nothing of what was there in the past. So it was a little bit difficult, but it talks a lot about the culture, the beliefs, uh, the traditions of Goa of old. Now that is one part of it. The second part is, do women really have power over men? That's why the word of temptress. So here there are these four women who influence one man. The interesting part of it is when I said, okay, it's a story of one man with four women and everybody turned on and says, is he a Muslim? No way. So it's a question of mother, puppy love, wife, daughter. And he's the type of man who is strong, but somehow or the other, he's totally uh, shattered by their influences. And the third part of the book is a very interesting adage. Uh, does history repeat itself? Uh, today, if we talk in terms of drugs, which are existing in Goa, yeah. did it happen in the past? I did a lot of research. Or we're talking about caste and status levels, which maybe is not so prominent in Goa, but did it exist then? It, it, does it exist now? So the book sort of goes into all these areas, showing Goa the way it existed. And of course, Bombay too. Let's not forget that. From 16 December to 23rd December, there will be held Serendipity Festival. Could you tell us more about it? Everything in this planet today is something to be appreciated. And the most important thing, especially when you talk about a beautiful place like Goa, it's art. Yeah. Now, Serendipity Arts Festival is something which is going to celebrate art. And the venue that they've selected is Goa. First of its kind in Goa, they want to make it a a festival to remember. Now the most important thing that is going to happen in this festival is that they are going to take creative forms of art. So you're going to have visual arts, you're going to have dance, you're going to have music, you're going to have photography, plus our local go on things like theater, etc. And over two kilometers length of Panjim, right from the Adil Shah Palace to the football ground. So you can imagine what a big length of that. There's going to be the celebration of art. What I'm happy about, because food is my baby, I'm very happy that this year, like someone asked me once, why are you categorizing food as art? Because normally people look at food as a necessity rather than art. And I turned around and I told that person, listen, if you see a beautiful painting, it's basically your visual impact. Music, it's the sound. Or maybe to a small point, your visual also. But when you talk about food, all five senses are totally activated. You have a plate or whatever you have, it's your eyes, it's your uh, aroma, it's your taste, it's the texture, it's the hearing of the crunch of the fried prawn. What more do you want? <laughs> that really sounds very good. Oh boy. <laughs> Ma'am, you have already been to Go Arts and Literature Festival. So how has your experience been so far? Over the years, it's really improved. And this year, what I really love is those little kids out there. I know I'm calling them kids, they're young adults. But in terms to see the creative aspect that we people have, you know, the kids have today, yeah. the new generation. I know I might be X generation, there might be Y and there's the Z. But whether it's X, Y and Z, it's just uh, everybody coming in together. And it was really enjoyable. And I'm glad it's in Goa. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. It You're was welcome. a great privilege to have you with us today. And thank, thank you. Thank you for spending your time and sharing memorable moments with us. Thank you so much. So this is all about Miss Audit Mascarenes. For now, it's me, Pallavi, with Miss Audit Mascarenes, signing off for today. Stay tuned for more interviews.